I'm Alex from 1791 Gun Leather, and I'm here with Lauren. And we're going to talk to you about the four-way size six, which is the newest addition to one of our most popular lines of products. As you all know, the four-way is a very popular product because of its versatility. It's a great way for first-time uh, gun carriers to figure out how they want to carry and experience a bunch of different ways in one holster. It can be worn inside the waistband with the clip, or using the belt panel on the back, you can wear it in four different positions outside the waistband. If you're like me and you like your full frame firearms, this size six is a winner. Um, until we release this, the size five would basically take your mid-size guns, like your Glock 19 mm -hmm. and everything. So for me, who is a big HK VP9 or big SIG fan, I did not have a holster in the four-way line that would fit. Um, so this new size six will take all of your big framed firearms. For example, my VP9, as you can see, I have um, already taken the mag out and the chamber is clear. So it doesn't really even require break-in. It just slides right in so beautifully. And if you guys are VP9 people as well, you know that that mag release on the trigger guard that makes it so fat and hard to find a good holster for, this takes it with ease. Um, it's also optic cut, so if you like those red dot optics, mm -hmm. which are so popular nowadays, you can accommodate that without worrying about it. See how great that fit is? And tell me something, Lauren. Yeah. You know, we were talking about putting some, you know, trigger mounted lights or lasers. Wh which ones fit and how does that work? Oh, absolutely. That's another reason the four way is so popular. So many people love to put on small lights or lasers. Well, the four way is the very first line we ever came out with, which will accommodate trigger guard mounted accessories. Now, unfortunately, it won't work with rail mounted accessories. We've come okay. out with a new model to accommodate those. Okay. But anything that's mounted on the trigger guard is far back enough on the slide that it won't run into the stitching. So it will take all of those small rail mounted accessories with an ease. Cool, so let me ask you a question. Since, since the stitching is all the way at the bottom, what you're saying is the holster actually opens up all the way to the bottom. So if you've got that, that trigger mounted laser or light, you'll just need to expand this a little bit so that, so, so that you're making room for, for the accessory to slip in. Exactly, these holsters were wet molded around a trigger guard, okay. but as you can see, they are open beyond the trigger guard. I don't know if you can see this slight puckering yes. I'm giving it, but so even if you don't have a trigger guard mounted accessory, it fits it with great retention, but if you do, you can basically pop out this leather and mold it around that trigger guard mounted accessory. Just takes a little extra time, but it yeah. fits beautifully, so great retention. Let me ask you another question. Why don't we talk a little bit about how these are worn? What are the positions that, that we can wear this holster with? Absolutely, so with the clip, you have an inside the waistband position. Now, you can carry an appendix on the hip or at a four or five o'clock position, which is basically behind the back. But you don't want to carry it at six o'clock. That's a great way to damage your spine if you fall backwards. Okay, not great. Um, <laughs> but a five or a four o'clock position is very popular for people who like it behind the back. Um, and, and that is using the clip. That's using the clip okay. inside the waistband. Okay. Now, if you want to carry it outside the waistband, you have this belt panel on the back, which gives you a lot of versatility. Now, the belt panel gives you three different positions for the firearm, but it actually gives you four ways to carry outside the waistband. Okay, that's cool. So it's actually even more versatile than it first appears. So, by threading the belt completely through the belt panel from here to here, you have a vertical carry position, which would be right there on your hip, on your dominant side. Now, if you thread your belt through this canted position here and then go out the other end, that gives you a canted cross draw position to carry your gun in. Over here. And then of course you have these two panels and this is where you get that little extra versatility. A lot of people like to carry that behind the back so like this? Exactly. Okay. Now, there's also what we call vehicle carry, whereas if you were to put that in a horizontal position in the front. 
okay. like that. So it doesn't jab into you when you're sitting in your car, but it gives you a great position to draw your firearm if you're getting carjacked. Okay. So, <laughs> so <laughs> suffice to say, this holster is versatile, it's long lasting, and it's really going to give you all the options you can possibly think of, especially if you're a new gun owner and you haven't really determined the way that you prefer to carry your firearm. And exactly. this will give you that ability to, to really test out the different ways that you can carry. Absolutely, and there's so many different factors con to consider that makes every gun carrier unique. What's your job? What position are you in the most tight for the most for the longest periods of, of the course. day? Are you sitting? Are you bending over and carrying stuff okay. all the time? Are you driving? Are you horseback riding? So all these kinds of things can go into what's the best way for you to carry, as well as what gun are you carrying. Every gun carrier is unique, and so we try and give a holster that gives you as many unique positions as you can experiment with.